Well, 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 what do we have here? What's up, guys? It's Apollo, and welcome back to another Shogun 2 Total War Online Battle. You really enjoyed the last one, which is awesome, because I really enjoy making videos of it, so it's a win-win situation. And we will get started with another 2v2 Avatar Conquest Battle. A mix of Imperial and Shogunate armies. Very cool, very awesome. We're going to see some very awesome units on the battlefield. So this one is going to start off really fast, like most Shogun 2 battles. So we're going to quickly check out the army comps and we're going to start with this side right here. So we have Korha punch you f something and he is bringing a shogun at army. He's got a lot of bow Ashigaru. So he went with the cheaper bows there and they look so cool. I love the bow Ashigaru. So he's got like four units of them. And then he's bringing a ton of Yari Samurai. So they're, they're currently running down the hill. They look amazing. I think he's also bringing, uh, let's see. No, just all, just a bunch of Yari Samurai. He does have some lone sword Ashigaru in the back here, waiting in the reserve. And he's got a couple uh, light cav, and here's his general. And he also has this one unit of Korha, or, or no, I'm sorry, that's his name. One unit of Tesubo Warrior Monk Heroes, so they must be very deadly. Uh, we might actually have to pause it here. Let's go ahead and pause it. The next army we're going to look at is Johnny LD2. He's bringing some French Marines. He's got a lot of the Imperial Guard Infantry, which look pretty cool. They got nice little plumes on their hats. And he's got one unit of the Shogunate Infantry. Let's see what else has he got. He has, let's see, here's his general, general's bodyguard. And the rest of his army is actually hiding in the flank in the trees here. He's got the carbine cav and some yari, ca yari ki. So a mix of just carbine cav, yari ki. Very awesome. Very deadly cav force. I can't wait to see what, what he's going to do with this force. Because it's a pretty tricky map because you've got this center section here that kind of funnels in. So if you try to flank around, it's an uphill struggle. And usually they'll see it coming. Uh, but I think, you know what? I think he also has some infantry. Yeah, here they are. Spear Levy. He's got some Spear Levy. All right, so moving on to the next army. We'll start with the yellow force here. Yellow and white. He's got a lot of black bear infantry. So he's bringing mostly them. But he's also got, let's see. Yeah, all black bear pushing forward. Yeah, hopefully he has some infantry to hold back that uh, that massive army of Yari, Yari Samurai. He's got some Tosa riflemen. Some to yeah, lots of Tosa Riflemen. He has the wooden cannons over here, which I can't wait to see them in action. So yeah, mostly Black Bear Infantry. The next army is a Shogunate army. He's bringing a lot of Katana, uh, Katana Samurai. He has his general over here, and in the front lines, he's got some Yari Samurai. He also has some Bow Samurai. So let's go back to normal speed. I think he has more troops hidden An somewhere. Ambush, An ambush. What? Ambush General. An Ambush General. <laughs> There we go. Oh, yes. Oh, I see. We've got some troops coming out of hiding here. Some ninjas. So now the uh, the Shogunate infantry having to deal with that. But he's going to run away because they are no match. Actually, wait. No, the ninjas are breaking. They're like, we're out of here. We're out of here, bro. Or they're wavering. They're not breaking. Here comes a cab charge. Look at this. Some light cab. They're going to finish the job here. Running through the forest. That looks so good. There we go. So that's one way to get rid of an ambush unit. But they do need to push up kind of quickly. Because they're going to have to deal with that wooden artillery. Oh, here it comes. You can hear it in the background. Imagine being one of these soldiers just watching the balls of death fly towards your lines. Oh, look at this guy like moved right out of the way. He's like, nope. Not me. Not today. And then here comes some flanking cap. I think he's going to try to go for the artillery. The music's getting quite intense. We do have a couple of uh, black, lair, black, black bear line infantry pushing on this flank. And here's a bunch of katana kachi. So this is a couple units that we missed during the army comp phase there. Looking at the army comps. So they're certainly watching their flank. And the battle is a little bit of a standstill right now. Oh, look at this. We do have some uh, cav over here flanking around. Oh no, those are more of those ninjas. Okay. So, yeah, there you have it. More ninjas coming out of the trees. Not really working. Not working at all. I probably should have saved that little ambush until the very end. Or after his in his infantry engaged in the, the main fight, you know. And then send them in. So they don't really see them. But look at all this cav flanking around. 
This is going to be a big concern, and that is why they're pushing over a lot of katana samurai and infantry over to protect this flank. I mean, there's a lot to protect. They could easily go up on this hill. Ooh, and there goes the guns. They are in range. They got a lot of kills. Look at this. Look at all the kills there. You got to be careful. You got to stay out of range of those guns. Did you hear that in the background? The cannon is firing. There we go. There's another volley. They're going for this little, uh, this, this right wing over here. Oh, get up, dude. You're good. Oh. Oh my god, that'd be funny if that killed him. He's like, no, I'm good. I'm good. No, you're not. <laughs> you're dead. <laughs> you's dead. Alright, see what's going on here. We do have a little bit of engagement. Some mounted Nagiata taking on some Yari Yashigaru. And I think the Yari are going to win this one. God, the Yari looks so cool. I love that weapon there. Very nasty. Very good at fighting off the cav. There we go. That's the last of that cav. So they're doing a good job containing their flanks. They just got to be careful over here. It looks like they're getting overwhelmed by all this cav over here. The light cav pushing. I think he's going to try to go for the artillery. Yes, he's going for the artillery. He's going for a charge. Right into these swordsmen. Where is that artillery? Oh, there it is. Oh, here comes the next unit. The other unit was just a diversion. Oh my god. Look at the even moving the cannons forward. There you have it. It was worth the yellow charge. Very much worth. Damn, cowards. You're running, <laughs> sir. Yeah, so his troops are breaking. Even though he sacrificed his cav, it was worth it. Taking out that artillery. He doesn't have to worry about that anymore. And things are going to simmer down. It looks like they're almost forming a little bit of a noob box here. Just trying to contain that cav. Yeah, they definitely don't have the same amount of cav. And that's usually what you have to do is just try to let the cav come to you. Uh, but now, ooh, some carbine cav. Getting some harass off here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Avatar bodyguard going for the kill. Taking on some hits. Oh, taking a lot of hits there. That's really sacrificing your general. That is tragic. And are they breaking or are they retreating? He is retreating. Okay, good. God, that would have not have been good. That's reckless use of your general there. Uh-oh. All right, so... We got the bows now in position, firing up on this hill. This is actually a really good position because it makes it difficult for the guns to fire back. Oh, look at that. And they are going to push up their guns. That's one thing you got to do with your bows to try to beat your opponent if they're like an imperial army. Is just try to use your bows in a way that it the, the guns can't compete. And this is exactly what he's doing. He's using this hill and he's getting a ton of kills. But he needs to be careful if he gets up on this hill he could get a couple good volleys but he is falling back oh, why though they just need to take a stand i guess they're worried about pushing because if they push they can get you know harassed from the flank of the cav who are just hiding in the trees here this like vomit green <laughs> vomit green color not really not really a cool color there <laughs> i'm not judging oh what is this Oh, fire arrows. I was like, is this some kind of artillery? I'm addicted. Oh, look at that. Man, this game is so stunning. The music is beautiful as well. There he goes. He's pushing forward. Trying to get in range. Still using this hill as a nice protection against the guns. Now we are following the arrows. Crashing into this huge blob of troops. Hmm. This is a tough situation. I think this is a... Well, I was going to say this is in favor of probably the green and black army and the white and black army. Because it seems like they're really controlling this battle. They're making the moves and they're having to counter the moves. Here comes uh, some counter volleys from the arrows. Look at that. They like glide through the air. Oh, yes. Here we go. Infantry pushing forward. Yari Samurai. Here comes another volley. The arrows are passing each other mid-flight. Oh, another volley right into their ranks. Yari Samurai push. So this is going to be the first infantry unit. Oh, and then the guns. And look at all the... Look at the, all the fire they're taking right now. Look at the guns in the background firing. 
Oh, we gotta get it. We gotta get a nice cinematic shot of this. Oh, they're just not catching up to the to the infantry here, the black bear infantry. Oh, this is so violent. Oh, this is the struggle that they must face. The the lack of guns. He's gotta charge through, try to get his men into melee. Looks like he's got a couple units in melee now. Against the guns. But there is some katana samurai in the mix. There's more line battles or uh, melee battles going on. But his troops are starting to break. And they are holding. They're keeping back their numbers. His green ally is pushing forward. He's trying to get his guns in range. Maybe that was just a diversion. Maybe he's just trying to... Uh, to, to protect these guns from uh, arrow fire and whatnot, we'll see. Are they are they close enough? I don't think they are. Sir, I fear your general is in mortal peril, sir. The archers are getting shot down, and Kor's army is getting destroyed. A very bold bold move there, and it did not pay off. We do have some cav over here, Lunar Halo, which is his player's name. So you're trying to attack the uh, the lines here. There we go. The gun fighting. The firefight has begun. His wounds are severe, but your general will live. <laughs> general, his general, he died technically, but he's just wounded. And so he's no longer a part of the battle. Uh, but this is some great shooting over here by the green player. And now we have the massive cab charge in the flank. He's going for the rear. Uh, I love that little charge rally noise. Oh, ho, ho, ho. what are these guys? Katana Samurai? They are obliterating them. The Carbine Cav going for the uh, line units over here. I think they should just charge them. Get them out of formation. Oh, jeez. Oh, a counter charge here. The Yari Ashigaru taking on the uh, Imperial Guard infantry. So are they holding? They're holding! These guns! They might be able to clean up this mess. They gotta take on the uh, the samurai over here. Naginata samurai. Here comes a general charge. He's down to just two men. I <laughs> know, oh, he's got a couple more, but they are breaking. Here we go, guys. This is why I love these, like, Shogunate versus Imperial. What is he stopping for? Why? Is he breaking? What is he doing? You gotta commit, man. You just gotta go in. Yeah, he, he hesitated. You can't hesitate against these guns. That gives them more time to reload. They are gonna go into the fight, but they took a lot of casualties. Who knows? I don't think it's gonna be enough to take out these lines. And look at this. The green army here is pushing forward on this flank. Yes, and I think they're going to take victory here today. The green and black army, Johnny LD2, taking victory, using his guns and slaughtering down these foes. They did a great job flanking around and causing pr pressure around their flank. They were able to take out that artillery cannon, that wooden cannon, and uh, be able to take victory. So I think uh, the other team made a lot of mistakes by not committing, being very indecisive. Let's go ahead and end the replay, and we'll see the stats here of the players. Okay, guys, here we are with the end results. And the person who sent in this battle replay is Korha Punchu, and he did not do extremely well. He kind of used his army as just a giant sacrifice so Johnny could push up his lines and get a lot of great volleys off. And it did pay off. He got over a thousand kills. The, the other two players actually doing about the same, getting around 600 kills. We got Lunar Halo 69 uh, getting 602, and Brosive J getting 638. So fantastic battle, guys! I hope you enjoyed this one. Remember, I'm always in need of Shogun 2 battle replays. So send them my way. I I can't wait to watch them. So thank you guys for watching. See you next time.